Hi everybody, I'm trying something a little bit different today. I had footage that I absolutely hated that I filmed six months ago. I figured out a way to make it enjoyable, fun to watch, and I had fun filming and editing it. So I want to let you know that I'm going to play that video for you now and hopefully you enjoy. And by the way, if you clicked on this video because you're curious how to fix an airbag on a GTO, I put that stuff at the end of the video to make it easy to find. Hi everybody, thanks for checking out the Dave's World YouTube channel. So this is my 2005 GTO and my 2015 Chevy SS. Ironically, when I purchased these cars, I had no intention of calling them Iron Man and War Machine, but the longer I've owned them, the more I realize that the color schemes actually match up. And the Iron Man comic series and Iron Man movies are some of my favorite Marvel movies. So the 2005 GTO over the years, when I was doing my modifications, ended up getting a color scheme that does mimic War Machine decently. The reason I'm adding this in the beginning of the video is I would like feedback from all of my subscribers. I recently purchased some wheels that would actually help the color scheme on my 2015 SS. The 2005 GTO is pretty much going to stay the way it is for a while. If you guys would like me to make videos on these cars, comment below and let me know. I will gladly do it. If not, they pretty much just stay in my garage protected because they're my favorite cars. So thanks for checking this video out. What I'm going to do is we're going to cut over and I want to uh, talk about the cluster modification and the cable that you can get. To modify the gauge cluster on a 2004 through 2006 GTO, uh, this is called the VZ mod, and what it will do is allow you to make modifications to the uh, instrument panel, to the speedometer. You'll see in the video that I was messing around with the airbag, and I was even able to diagnose that my clock spring was a problem, which was very handy because the airbag light's been on on my GTO since I first bought it like five years ago. So what I'm going to do is put a link in the video description where you can get this on my website. I'll put a link where you can get the program and that way if you guys need help uh, diagnosing your GTO or finding this cable you can get it right through me. Okay so I'm going to start playing the video for you now. Okay, I'm going to get in the video showing you how I used uh, the VZ cluster mod to diagnose my 2005 GTO, but I wanted to let everybody in the GTO community know that I made life easy for you. Here's the cable, okay? This is my website. You can get to my website at daveskarstuff.com, www.daveskarstuff.com, or www.daveskustomparts.com it will get you to this website. Sometimes there's going to be a pop-up showing up in the middle. Sometimes there won't. I'm a huge brake fan, so I have a pop-up that brings you right to the big brake stuff. But all you simply need to do is go to the website navigation in the top corner. Click GTO VZ Cluster Mod. Once you're on this page, you can simply download the program right here. Once that download is complete, you now have the program on your computer you can simply click here, contact me. If you can't get a cable, I can get a cable for you. Also, if you click here, this is all of the commands needed to run that program. Every little thing you want to do, like changing the cluster, diagnosing the airbag, uh, to, uh, when you hop in the car, telling the cluster to say something different. Uh, you could tell it to say Chevy, you could tell it to say Holden, you could, you could do a lot of custom stuff. But everything you need is here including the airbag diagnostic stuff. So I wanted to put it all in one place for the GTO community to make life easy for everyone. So the next thing I'm gonna do is let's cut over and I'll show you some footage of me tinkering with the GTO using uh, this program. Okay. So this is the cable and I'm going to plug the cable back in and then type a list ports and now it says COM3. Open COM3. Serial port opened successfully. Okay, here we are on the GTO. I'm gonna turn the key on. Uh, it's probably gonna be a bunch of beeping and you're probably gonna see the airbag light that's gonna be on. Yeah, airbag fault. Let me try typing listen.
Oh, here we go. That's how we know it's communicating with the cluster. What if I put read nine? Well, that's all ship light stuff. What if I put read one? Hey! Hey! Cluster part number. Hey! Down here! We get it! You played with the program! But we're all bored and confused. Just get to what we want to see already. All right, all right, I'm doing it. Finally! All right, so the first thing I want to show you guys is I'm going to turn the key on. And you're going to see the airbag light is active. I'm going to come down here. And what I'm going to do is put read codes. It's saying no active faults, no historical faults. So now what I want to put is clear codes. I'm going to show you the cluster before I hit enter. Watch what happens as soon as I hit enter. The airbag light is now off. Now, it cleared the signal from the cluster telling me that there's something wrong with the airbag system. If you still have something wrong with your airbag system, that will come back. Or potentially you could have something wrong with the cluster. I think it's important that you know this. But as of right now, this light that's been on in my car for the last four and a half years is now gone. That's not saying that it won't come back. There could still be something wrong with the car, but I'm not seeing it in any of these values. For example, if I put in read zero, this will bring up all the values for all the airbag related items. It looks like everything is working. I would imagine if there was a problem, there would be a zero next to all the ohms. But there's not. But when I turn the key off and back on again, Now it tells me there's an airbag fault. Even though everything's showing fine, this has nothing to do with this program and everything to do with my car. There's something wrong with my car, I have to figure it out and I'll do another video on what's wrong. Let's try open. Um, three. Okay, let's try read codes. Okay. You guys are still here? What are you doing? The video's over. Leave, go. Don't worry. I have more stuff coming to the channel, usually every Monday or Wednesday. Have a nice day.